Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here with the Old Family Channel, and today I want to show you guys how to add some VFX spice to your videos with not a lot of effort. I've been watching these amazing highlights on Instagram and these crazy transitions, and I'm impressed. But your boy, After Effects and your boy, yes, we've got a sketchy relationship. <laughs> now, Nick, Josh, and Norman are so good at it, but I mostly feel comfortable in Premiere Pro. I can do some stuff in After Effects, like tracking and roto, but other than that, Yes, I get, I get stuck, like most of us. And this is kind of stuff you can use in any editor, so let's not limit it to just Premiere Pro and have that whole DaVinci Resolve did this 10 years ago. If you use any video editor, you could do this, okay? Now, thanks to the AI, there's a lot of stuff that we can do that's quite impressive within Premiere Pro, and the turnaround's fast, and you can add this stuff to your videos and really impress people. So right here, I've got a shot of my local Starbucks, and what I'm gonna do is, right here, I've actually marked it, I'm going to take a photo. Now, I can either press this button and export the frame, or if you're going to do this quite a bit, there's a plugin called Arrow by Knights of the Editing Table. Makes it super easy to just export a frame and it creates a folder and it's right there for you. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just remember where you've exported the frame. So I've added a marker there so I can drop the image back in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the photo in Adobe Photoshop Beta. You can go into your Creative Cloud and download that beta super easy and what i want to do is is separate the starbucks logo from that so i want the starbucks logo in a different layer if that makes sense first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use the lasso tool and i need a clean plate so i'm just going to draw around the starbucks logo and generate that fill let it do its thing and hopefully it just gets rid of everything there let's see what it does wow <laughs> that's so good happy with that and Let's export that clean plate. I'll export it to where I've got my photos. There you go. And then what I wanna do is separate the logo. So if you go into your wand and hold it down and just go to object selection tool. So I'm pressing the shift button to add to the mask and then right click select and mask. And I'm gonna come in here and add a bit more to this cause I think it'd be nice to have the shadow in there as well. So I'll just go around it roughly using the tool. Nope, don't want that. So I'm just gonna press option to remove the stuff I don't want. Obviously you can zoom in, press the space button to have the hand tool and just like be a bit more clinical with it. Mind you, this is gonna be a super fast transition so you can be, be a bit rougher with it to be honest. Uh, all right, now I'm gonna add the shadows from letters and then come down here output settings and I want that to be on a new layer press ok so I've got this on a new layer I'm gonna go into my eraser tool and just clean this up a bit more and I'm gonna hide it with some movement and like a flash or like a film burn effect export that as a PNG as well so I got my clean plate and then the logo right there so it gives us the logo there to animate we're gonna import this the Starbucks logo the clean plate and then the picture we took earlier. We'll drop them in the timeline. So let's go with a shot. So we kind of want to end up with this one. Let's add the clean plate, line it up. And then I need my animation on top of the clean plate. So this is two different layers. You see that? If I enable or disable that. So I got clean plate and then the logo on top. Now, because I want to animate the logo and the letters differently, I just need to mask those. So let's create a duplicate of that. Let's go into our effects, grab the pen tool, and this is gonna be our logo, okay? And then the second one, do the same exact thing. It's gonna be the letters, okay? So I've got one each, and then it's gonna transition into the shot. So first of all, I want this to appear, and then I want the logo to be first and then the letters, okay? And then we animate that. So you can either go into your transform tool and just start messing around with what you want that to look like, or you can use the social media creator kit and just drag and drop some effects. So let's go with like a pop-up text. You could do that. I'm just gonna go through some options. Let's go with a slide up one, see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. And then for the Starbucks logo, let's go with like a shouty text animation. All right now because it's masked and it's kind of doing the animation within those borders what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to remove that animation nest this photo and then 
pop that animation on that photo so you get you get that so it's not limited by the mask anymore because the mask is within the nest if that makes sense all right so we got boom boom all right so right around here it changes because i think photoshop does a weird thing with the color but i'm gonna add some grain and hide it a bit better i like that so that's good next stage is we're gonna add an adjustment layer and on the adjustment layer we just want to add a bit of zoom a bit of movement so i'm going to go in add my transform tool and i'm just going to have like a slow zoom okay and this can affect the whole image so let's go in just do scale and let's go to like 110 and this just gives a bit of a slow zoom and don't worry about the color change i'm going to add like a little transition a little film burn or a shake or something like that yeah that's cool wow i'm going to be a bit cheeky i'm gonna add another adjustment layer here and i'm actually gonna get to zoom in do like a little power zoom right around here so same thing add a transform tool i'm gonna keyframe those a bit and i'm going to ease out and then ease in and then i'm gonna press this right here drop down and then make this move right here let's see what that looks like Oof! it's coming together y'all next is i'm gonna add a film burn next one i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add some sound effects okay so and these sound effects this is a cool thing if you are making these kind of transitions you can kind of use the same sound effects i've gone for more of a kind of mechanical approach on this one i've got a bit of a transformers type vibe a bit of a bit of a slam some industrial chains all right so when it zooms in right around there i need a whoosh i need some kind of push and whoosh i'm gonna go into the 360 kinetic transitions pack i think this is the one this is the bad boy and i want the peak of this to be where the zoom's happening around there Mind you, there's gonna be some music under this, so this is what it sounds like with the music. Now we need some movement, okay? We've got sound effects, we've got zoom in. On any other two layers here, you can just add a handheld preset. This is what you get when the handheld preset is in place. It's looking pretty good. And after you get this process down, you get really quick at doing these, and I think you get a bit more creative as well. Now, when the film burn comes in, I need a shake. I need some kind of, ugh. So what I'm going to do is add an adjustment layer there, chop it up so it's the same length as this right here. And I'm going to go into my creator kit and there's a preset called shake. I'm just going to drag that on the adjustment layer. And all that's going to do is just shake the footage. See that? Really subtle, but just adds a bit of something, man. So let me just do that again because I've extended that. All right. I'm happy with that, man. Drag and drop resets, that's where it's at. Now let's take a bit more of a shot with some structures in it. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to do the exact same thing, get a screenshot, bring it into Photoshop. And what I want to do is remove the actual cathedral. So after experimenting with generative fill, you get something like this. Mind you, I just need a clean plate to start animating stuff, okay? So I'm gonna export that image, put it into my folder with where everything is. So I've got a clean plate. And then on top of that, I've actually masked out the building. So these are three elements, that part, that part, and that part, okay? So ideally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get those to appear, like slide in, add some animation, and then this one is just gonna slide in from behind. So let's do that. Export each one as a PNG. I'm using exactly the same technique with the shake animations and i'll probably use the same sound effects if i'm honest like you've already done it well why do it again so i've got my clean plate and i've got my structure so let's take the clean plate drag it exactly where it needs to be because of the camera movement because i'm not using a tripod it's all handheld you need to make sure you mark where in the clip you've taken the screenshot okay so this is what i've got and then i'm going to start adding these photos right here. So I want this one to appear first. All right, boom. We're gonna add some zoom in with an adjustment layer. 
All right, we've got that. And then let's add this bad boy, all right? And this right here, which is the whole building, I'm just gonna add underneath everything. So let's space these out. I would like the north wing to be <laughs> structured first, all right? So it kind of looks like this. Let's space these out a tiny bit more. So we got clean plate, boom, 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 okay? Add some animation to that. And actually, what I would like to do is have this one appear from behind, okay? Like, bam, up there. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mask around it, add a transform tool to the full building. And what happens is when you start animating the transform tool, it's just gonna like boop, appear from there. So let's just do position. Let's add some motion blur. So take the composition third angle box, put it to about 200. We want it to end up there, but we want it to start around here. There's nowhere to be found, but then it appears. Space that out and then take that keyframe, ease out, ease in. This is the transition we get for the building. And let's do some drag and drop animations for the rest of the stuff. For this one, let's see what we've got in the creator kit. Let's do a blur in. Yeah, I could do the blur in. The sound effect, you can see that working. Then that bad boy. Or let's do scale in. All right, I like that. And what you can do is, because I've done the work already, just go into your previous project and we can just start copying. Basically, I'm just gonna take the adjustment layer, the film burn, and just add them to the shot. Actually, what I'm gonna do is check this out. Right where, right where my marker is, right there. I'm gonna mark the adjustment layer, film burn, right there and what happens now is i can just drag that in and know exactly where the transition is and bam obviously you're gonna have to adjust some of these so let's adjust the transform tool right here because i don't want it to zoom in this much in it but let's go 110 around there all right and then let's just copy the same sound effects see how that looks like again let's just mark this bad boy here I just mark one sound effect. I don't need to mark all of them. And yeah, let's drag that in. Ooh, fingers crossed. Let's see what this sound looks like. I'm just kind of, I'm just trying to save you guys time, man. If you do the work once, just might as well just uh, not have to do it again. So let's see. All right, almost there. Uh, there's some movement here. So, so I want some movement there because this stuff appears. So, I like that. Sweet, I'm happy with that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope that helped. Take care, see you in a bit, bye.